boys, 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 it's finally here. The true love of my life, Sergio Aguero. One, his full name is Sergio Lionel Aguero. Two, he was born in June 1988, making him 29 years old and a Gemini, if you happen to believe in horoscopes, which I hope you don't, because that is bloody crazy. Three, Aguero was born in Quelmes, Buenos Aires in Argentina, about an hour's drive away from where Total Wipeout was filmed. <laughs> That's funny because he, he fell off the thing and into the, into the water. Four, while he plays for Argentina, he also holds Spanish nationality after being granted citizenship in 2010 while playing for Atletico Madrid. Five, his nickname is Kun, which features on his shirt. It was given to him by his grandparents as he resembled a cartoon character called Kum Kum as a child. Six, Aguero is the second child of seven to his parents, Adriana and Lionel. Seven, Aguero was married to Giannina Maradona, the youngest daughter of Argentine football legend, Diego Maradona. They split up in 2012. Eight, now his girlfriend is Argentine singer, Karina Tejeda, and they've been together since 2012. Nine, they broke up briefly last year, just two days after Aguero broke a rib in a car crash in Amsterdam. 10. In February 2009, Aguero's then wife had a son named Benjamin. 11. Aguero grew up as a fan of Argentinian side Independiente. 12. Aguero began his footballing career at the same club, joining the Youth Academy in 1997 when he was just nine years old. 13. He became the youngest player ever to debut in the Primera Division at 15 years and 35 days old, breaking the record previously held by Maradona. 14. He also became the youngest player to play in the Copa Libertadores when he played against Cienciano in 2004. 15. From 2003 till 2006, Aguero scored 23 goals in 54 appearances for Independiente. 16. His 2004-05 season was his first regular season of football as he broke into the club's first team and was eventually selected for the Argentinian under-20 squad. 17. A year later, an Aguero's Argentina side won the Under-20 World Cup, a tournament he has won twice. 18. In the 2007 Under-20 World Cup, he was awarded the Golden Boot for six goals and seven outings and the Golden Ball for being the standout player of the competition. 19. During his last season in Argentina, he scored 18 goals and 36 league appearances, form that won him the attention of European clubs. He announced on TV that he would leave Independiente at the end of the season. 20. In May 2006, he transferred to Atletico Madrid for 20 million euros, breaking Madrid's record fee at the time. 21. He caused controversy straight away in Spain, scoring his second goal for the club using his hands. 22. However, he ended his first season for the Rojo Blancos with a woeful seven goals in all competitions. 23. The following season he scored 19 goals in the league, placing him as the third highest scorer and runner-up for the Alfredo Di Stefano Award, helping Atleti finish fourth and qualify for the UEFA Champions League for the first time in over a decade. 24. He scored his first Champions League goal in 2008 during a 3-0 win away at PSV. 25. Over the course of the 2010-11 season, Aguero scored over 20 league goals for the first time in his career. 26. Between March and May of the same campaign, he went on a scoring run of seven consecutive games, a record no one else in Europe managed that season. 27. In his final game for Aletti, he scored his 99th, 100th and 101st goal for the Colchoneros. Colchonet, have I said that right? Canyonero. Canyonero. 28. He scored his first career hat-trick in a game against Mallorca and has scored 14 in total so far in his career. 29. At the end of the season, he announced he wanted to move from Madrid and asked to be released from his contract. He signed for City for £38 million, once again breaking the club record fee. 30. Atletico Madrid took this pretty badly and fans held a banner saying, Aguero, we hope you die. All right, a bit much. 31. Aguero made his debut for Mancini City in August 2011 in a 4-0 league win against Swansea. I remember watching that game on TV and let me tell you, I've never been so excited about a player before. He was unbelievable on his debut. 32. He ended his debut with two goals and an assist after only playing a 31-minute cameo. 33. He scored against QPR on the final day of the season to clinch City the league title. Man City's first league title in 44 years. Oh, look at me. I'm a United fan. I'm all sad because all this glory hunting and thinking I'm the best forever has all come crashing down. Nobed. 34. According to Megamind, Aguero cried on the floor during the celebrations. 
35. At the close of the 15-16 season, he overtook Thierry Henry as the player with the highest goals per minute ratio in Premier League history. 36. He scored the fastest Premier League penalty since 1994, scoring 72 seconds into a match against Newcastle. 37. He also holds a joint record for the most goals scored in a single Premier League match with five against Newcastle. 38. He was also the fastest to achieve that feat, scoring those five goals in 23 minutes and 34 seconds. 39. Over his Prem career, he has scored 143 goals so far, and he needs just four more to break into the top 10 Prem goal scorers of all time. 40. However, he is the highest non-European scorer in the league ever. 41. He reached 100 Prem goals faster than any other player, apart from Alan Shearer. 42. In November 2017, Aguero became Man City's all-time highest goal scorer when he netted for the 178th time against Napoli. 43. Aguero has been named Prem Player of the Month five times over his time in England. 44. He has earned the Prem Golden Boot only once in 2014-15. 45. However, in his seven years in England, he has still never been named in the PFA Team of the Year. 46. He has won the Premier League twice already and about to win his third. Wee! We're good at football! Also, on a side note, money. F love it! 47. He has won five trophies with City so far. 48. In 2014, he won the Football Supporters Federation Award. He held off competition from Eden Hazard, Raheem Sterling and Yaya Torre. 49. His only piece of European silverware has been the Europa League in 2009-10. 50. In 2008, as part of the Argentine under-20 squad, Aguero won an Olympic gold medal. 51. At just 18 years old, he was first called up to the senior international team playing against Brazil in a friendly at the Emirates. 52. He scored his first international goal in a 2010 World Cup qualifier against Bolivia. 53. Over 84 international appearances, he has scored 36 times. 54. Over the course of his 12-year career, he has scored a total of 323 goals and contributed 104 assists. 55. Aguero's biggest victory ever came from Man City against Norwich, winning 7-0. He got a hat-trick of assists and a goal. 56. His worst defeat ever came at Barcelona while he was at Atletico, when they lost 6-0. 57. The most assists he has managed in one match is three, which he has managed twice, once against Norwich in the Premier League and in an international friendly against Bolivia. 58. He has only won two different jersey numbers for his club sides, 10 and 16. 59. He picked number 16 at City because Edin Dzeko already had the number 10. However, when Edin left for Roma, Aguero switched to his favourite number 10. He offered any fans who had bought the new shirt with the number 16 on the back either a replacement number 10 shirt or their old shirt signed by himself. 60. Aguero has played the most matches with David Silva. 61. His most prolific partnership has been with Diego Forlan, where they had a joint goal participation of 39. He's not far off beating that with David Silva, currently on 36. 62. His most regular opponent has been Juan Mata, who he has faced 18 times. 63. Aguero has beaten Colaccini the most times with 10. 64. He has been least successful against Iniesta, who he has lost to 12 times. 65. He has faced Liverpool the most times, playing them on 18 occasions. 66. But he has won against Newcastle the highest number of times with 12, scoring 14 goals. 14 in 12! Mad tick. 67. Aguero has lost the most times against Barcelona. Don't worry about it, lad. You, I mean, that's probably most people. Me. But I've probably lost to Barcelona the most as well. 68. He has performed the best under Manuel Pellegrini, having scored 89 times and contributed 33 assists in 119 under the Chilean. 69. He has nearly played at least 40 games a season since 2006. 70. He has scored a total of 39 penalties and missed only 9. 71. He has his name tattooed on the inside of his arm in Tengua, a language from Lord of the Rings. 72. He copied the tattoo idea from Atleti teammate Torres, who was a self-proclaimed Tolkien nerd. Aguero also has his son's name and date of birth tattooed on his other arm, although not in the Lord of the Rings language, thankfully. Bit weird, innit? 73. He is best mates with Lionel Messi. They are often roommates during international duty, and he has described Messi as like a brother. 74. He previously discussed how he has tried to encourage Messi to join him at the Etihad, but admitted it would be extremely difficult for him to ever leave Barcelona. 75. His parents originally wanted for his middle name to be Lionel, but there was a law against the name in Buenos Aires, meaning his parents had to spell it Lionel instead. 76. Aguero's surname was also meant to be Del Castillo. 
He was only given the maternal surname of Aguero because both parents were minors and not married when he was born. 77. Aguero's father Leo was also a talented goalscorer and showed promise in his youth, but he never went on to play professionally. 78. In his autobiography, Aguero revealed that he had a soft spot for Liverpool, especially for Michael <laughs> Owen, and always chose to play as Liverpool when playing FIFA. 79. In 2006, he admitted it would be a dream to play at Anfield. No, no, alright, Mr. Aguero. Nah, -uh. take that back. 80. Poll time, and I want to know if you lot think Aguero will stay at City and eventually finish his career back in Argentina, or could he potentially end up somewhere else in Europe one day? 81. He has a lot of weird superstitions, including rubbing his palms together as he walks to the pitch before a game. 82. Aguero joined in an Argentine squad superstition in the Copa America tournament in 2016. They believed that if they all kept a beard, they would break their run of bad luck. It didn't work. 83. Aguero has repeatedly gone on record to say that he would like to head back to Argentina to end his career, hoping to return to Independiente. Nailed it! 84. Over his career so far, he has racked up 62 yellow cards and has accumulated 4 red cards. 85. He clearly has a problem with this man, committing two horrific fouls against the cartoon character that is David Luiz. 86. He is currently sitting on 21 Premier League goals this season, just behind Salah and Kane. 87. Despite an apparently rocky start, Guardiola has said Aguero is a legend and one of the best strikers he has ever worked with and one of the best in the world. 88. He once featured in a music video with Los Lilas entitled El Con Aguero. 89. There's a stop on the Buenos Aires Underground called Aguero, but it always gets there just in the last minute. Hey! Fun! Comedy! 90. He is just lovely. He once stopped a game against Everton while in position for a corner because he noticed a young Everton fan in the crowd who needed medical help. 91. He is City's highest earner on £220,000 a week and deservedly so. I f***ing love you. It's the end of the video. I don't talk now, I just talk. I'm here. I'm actually here. Click on the video, subscribe, and do a follow me on Twitter. That's just much more fun. Bye.